Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on August 15th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew from Morning Dew. We're going to start out here looking at images of our sun. In these images, we're able to see the plasma dancing, moving around the sun. You can also see that one small, bright sunspot region shows some activity and then fades away. And here you can see the corona on the left side was affected by the coronal mass ejection, CME, which happened on the 13th. So definitely we have some space weather coming in the next 48 hours. But still a very dead quiet sun something I wanted to share with you here. Here are the Lasco 2 images that have been missing. NOAA hasn't updated since the 6th. So these are all the missing images from the 8th, 9th, and 10th. As you can see, there was a small coronal mass ejection on the 9th as Mercury came into view here. And then on the 13th, watch on the top left side, right there, it is a very sizable CME. Largest CME in a few weeks for sure. But still, some very awesome images actually coming out of Soho. This is where I got these images. Now Venus is coming into play as well. Venus right behind Mercury, as they will both be on the other side of the sun here very shortly. So I'm happy that it wasn't anything serious and they weren't hiding a catastrophe, that's for sure. Let's get to earthquakes here. Last 24 hours for earthquakes, largest being the 5.8 yesterday in Sirocco, Mexico. Watching an increase in seismicity here at Ridgecrest as well. Montana, Sealy Lake, Montana with a 2.7. But Ridgecrest has definitely seen an uptick today. Last night, Japan with a 5.4 at an 88 kilometer depth. Watching quite a bit of seismicity here in the region of Tropical Storm Carosa, who is still spinning there bringing a deluge of moisture with it. 5.3 here, and as well, Vanuatu with a 4.3. And 4.6 here in Somalia, it's kind of a strange earthquake. Not the first time though. And as well, watching an uptick in seismicity here as well, 5.0 in Chile that was just reported, as well, 4.9 Argentina. 4.4 in Chile. So that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world. Let's look at the last seven days. As you can see, there are a lot of elevated rings. We're still seeing a deep earthquake movement around the world. Huge tectonic plate movement. Especially in South America and as well Alaska, Russia but still east side of the ring of fire just seeing a definite increase in seismicity around the world so watch these regions here subduction zone North America and as well Central America two quiet zones I'm keeping an eye on looking here at the last seven days visible images of weather over North America. High pressure ridge still locked in place across middle western United States. And you can see there is definitely some cold weather coming from the north. Let's get into that because we could have quite a bit of snowfall in the BC mountains. Temperatures not going above 
10 degrees throughout to BC over the next five days, watching things drastically change across Canada. We could have a heavy snowfall warning throughout BC, could possibly even see some snow in Alberta. But definitely things are changing drastically across the Northern Hemisphere, especially after that low pressure locked its place to an early polar vortex. I've been talking about these early cool temperatures coming. They are here. Across the United States, watch for a tropical low to develop, to develop over Florida later in the week. And it looks like it will go northeast according to this forecast, but it could possibly hang out in the Gulf like the last storm did. So definitely we're going to see some thunderstorms and severe weather throughout Ontario, Northern Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and as well, Central Eastern Plains of the United States, British Columbia, Vancouver, still no rain until that big system comes down from the north. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, large low pressure system, heading into the Aleutian Islands and it doesn't look like it went through it looks like it's going to circle around and come back and quite possibly get even bigger. Watching for possible typhoon development here in the West Pacific as well later in the week. Downgraded tropical storm Carosa, you can see here next five days, spreading a deluge of moisture across all of Japan, Korea and into Russia. And the monsoon season. This has been devastating for India. They're reporting over 500 deaths already from these floods and landslides, monsoon rains. Very intense situation happening over there, Myanmar, Nepal. Millions of people have been displaced due to these floods. Across Australia, watching some weather move into southeastern parts later in the week some snow accompanied with it those kangaroos they might be getting used to the snow now a very interesting sight I saw a video on Facebook the other day of uh, a herd I guess I don't know if they're called a herd but a herd of kangaroos hopping and frolicking through a couple inches of snow quite an amazing sight absolutely no Atlantic hurricane season to talk about nothing even developing across Europe watch for the same kind of cool down that Canada is receiving as that large low comes from Greenland that could be packing some heavy winds and some rain heavy winds heavy rain In South America daily evaporation but watch for an intense thunderstorms heavy downpours throughout Central America Puerto Rico through Guam Uruguay as we could have a couple more tropical storms developing in the East Pacific later in the week I want to thank you all for watching today this has been Mike with morning dew daily events worldwide I appreciate all of your viewership and your support Thank you so much for your love and the likes and the comments. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your boarding due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.
Yeah.